the pandemic actually didn't change where we found buyers. We were always actually finding buyers through online resources and, and, and cherry picking the right people based off of our research, right? So what are some of those places? First and foremost, your tax records, guys, are gonna be where you're gonna find cash transactions. You're gonna find cash buyers by scraping tax records. That, that, that is a, a first and foremost place to go. Second place to After find- After your meetup. You go to your meetup yes. and then go to tax records. Correct. The next place to go is looking at properties in and around your potential subject. So let's just say you're talking to a homeowner and they're talking to you about selling a deal and, and you think things make sense, but you wanna make sure that, that you get this locked in. You, you might even have a seller that says, I want non-refundable earnest money on this deal. I want you to put up hard earnest. How are you gonna get a buyer locked in? Well, if you look at flips that have happened around that property, you can actually find out who the person that owned that property was before it was flipped. And now you can actually get a hold of that cash buyer that did the renovation and see if they want another project where they just scored and made money. Right? People like to go back to places that they've ate at before. You go, ba you go back to where you've been fed. Chick-fil-A, baby. Right? Another, always. Another place I'd look is the MLS. Every single day, new properties get listed on the MLS. Now say you need a buyer today for a deal that you have right now. You're running low on inspection time and you gotta get something going. How do you find a, how do you time it? How do you game the timing? You go to the MLS today and you see what new flips were listed today. Why does that matter? And how can you tell? You can tell it's a flip because you're gonna look at the staging, you're gonna look at the quality of the renovation, you're gonna see the closets and the bedrooms have no clothes in it. All right, that's the telltale sign that you're dealing with a flip. You're gonna do two things. You're gonna write down the name of that real estate agent, you're gonna take down that realtor's phone number, and then you're gonna skip trace the owner of that property as well. You're gonna make a contact with the agent. Why is that important? Because that agent represents flippers. Real estate agents who work in that space will work with other people in that space. Remember, we go back to where we've been fed once, right? So that's, not only will that agent have a buyer for you, but she might, or he might have 10. So you make a relationship with that agent, then you go make a relationship with that cash buyer. You do that over and over and over again, and within two, three months, you've got a formidable buyer's list.